so now let me write the logic for uh, email validation okay so whenever someone clicks on this button we are going to validate the email so for that we need to install or just include jquery okay we can also do it without jquery by just using J vanilla javascript but we are also going to make a post request using ajax so that's why we have to uh, uh, include it okay i will say jquery and i'm going to say cdn because we need the links because we need the links to import that's why now i will go to minified i will copy this i will go to my vs code and i will paste it at the very bottom of my body okay now i will reload the page now everything will work same but there is one more thing i want to do i will install a jquery suggestion snippet or code snippet because this will be useful whenever i will write the code okay so let me write the code i will say script and jquery jquery doc ready okay this is the event will fire this event will fire whenever the whole script or you can say whole uh, html and css and javascript is loaded then this event will fire okay so what mean what do i mean whenever i say fire whenever i say fire that means it is going to execute okay so let me write console.log oh let me write alert okay hello dharmic my name and then i will re refresh this and you can see hello dharmic is working okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to remove this oh sorry we are going to remove this alert button and we are going to listen for a click event on the uh, send otv button okay so let me do jquery click and let me add a selector so for that we need id so we can select uh, by anything okay we can select by id we can select by tag name we can select by class name but right now we are going to select it as id okay i will copy this i will paste it here and whenever someone clicks on this button i am going to get the value of email okay so let me see okay id is email so i need the value i will say const email address equals to email uh, we are going to do value so i will say val and val get okay this is the short form the suggestion that is provided by the extension that i just downloaded okay if you are not getting it then just just install that extension to get the suggestions okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say alert and inside the alert i'm going to say email address and let me reload the page and whenever i click on the send otv button okay it's not listening so there is some problem what is problem actually there should be some problem email and i want to alert it okay so let me go to console there is no problem actually here so okay let me see okay it's really not happening let me just console.log okay let me just write one i will reload this page okay it's really not clicking so there is some problem actually okay the problem is that i have to use hash actually i used it before but then i accidentally removed it and i don't know when i removed it okay so i will reload this page and click on send otp now you can see local host says and there is an empty space okay so that means we have not entered anything in the email and it is displaying here let me enter something okay this is my phone number and you can see it's working okay so let me enter array of silicon and let me do so you can see that this is working now what we are going to do is we are going to check if this email is valid or not so i will go i mean i will find for a regex if you don't know anything about regex then regex is a pattern matching technique we match the pattern from a string okay and if it is true then we are going to say that this number or this email id is going to be valid or it's invalid okay so let me write regex or email 
what is the email regex and you can see there is a whole site for it okay there is a whole site for it and you can just copy this whole thing okay so how can i copy this thing okay let me copy and regex for regex in javascript you can go and write this okay you can see there is a regular expression so you can watch this okay so how can we validate it let me go further and there is a match okay paragraph dot match so what we are going to do is console dot log dot log email address dot match it's not giving me javascript suggestions i don't know why now let me see if uh, this email id is valid or not so i will write array of silicon and i will say send otp so you can see this is an invalid regular expression so there is some problem with the regular expression what is problem let me go back i think i have not included this thing and this thing g okay so let me just include these things okay it's not really copying that's why i have not included and let me remove this thing also so i will just add this okay it should work but let me reload and test it let me test okay send otp and you can see it's returning it okay let me enter some random number and whenever i say send otp it's not really referring let me uh, just write some dummy text and it is not returning actually let me write array of silicon and let me remove at the rate from it it's not returning anything let me write at the rate so okay it's not returning now if i say dot com then it's also not returning so okay let me see now it's returning okay so this is a valid javascript syntax for uh, testing whether something is true or not so we can really make this as function so let me create a function for that function uh, email validate okay or validate email this thing will take email as argument and it will return this thing okay now what we can do is we can use this function as many time as we want i think the syntax is wrong actually i have to write if oh to email now i will say a uh, validate email email address and if the email address is true then it's going to say email address is valid else let me close this else i will copy it and i will say is not valid okay let me reload this page let me do it okay now i will enter some dummy number and send otp and you can say email is not valid if i enter a real email address then let me see email is valid okay so it is working now if email is not valid then i have to uh, create an error message or i just have to show the error message okay so let me create an error message so that we can show it okay send otp and inside the send otp there is a email input box so this is the email box now when i so now where i want to put the error i want to put the error here okay below this uh, input box so what i will do is i will create a div and i will contain all the things that are related to uh, email address let me take everything so okay it's working we can also comment it out and say something like email address we'll save and i will copy it everything should run as same okay so it's not really running same 
there might be some issues with my div okay or just position of my div okay let me see okay so what i have to wrap it up is this label and the whole input box like until this okay and other things are really not important i think really not important so let me reload the page it should work as same okay yes it is working as same so what i can do is i will use this and i will reload the page and you can see it is oh this is the ground breaking stuff for me so okay what should i do is i should uh, close the thing here right so okay so it's really not working there is some problem with my div let me fix it let me see if it is working or not it's working now what i'm going to do is let me wrap this whole thing means this whole thing inside this thing okay not email actually but uh, actually only input email okay because that's the main thing that we have to do okay now let me reload it now it's working fine it should work fine okay no problem there is some space but it's okay right now okay it's actually okay i will create i will create a input or p tag which will contain e dot error email error okay so p tag i will add a class i can also add a id but let let's try something different let's add class so we are going to say email error please enter valid email email address okay so okay it's really big okay this is not going to work there should be something um, there should be some problem okay let me fix it let me select this button and for this button i am going to say height auto or fit content okay so for now we are going to uh apply this style i to fit content to this button okay because otherwise it will look so annoying actually okay i will also select this and give it a red color because error are shown in red color okay otherwise they are not recognized as error so let me do it okay so, okay let me reload it it should work okay one more thing i want to do is there is a lot of uh i can say margin here so i will remove it and you can see it's good okay we are all set then let me do margin zero so let me reload the page and it should work one more thing is font size or uh, let me create it 12 pixel something like that let me just taste it oh it's too small let me create 14 pixel and okay it's working so let me give it some padding top 2 pixel padding left 2 pixel okay let me reload the page and yes it is working okay it is really working well now what i have to do is initially i want to set this error as hidden so what i will do is i will say display none and let me reload the page it's going to just hidden okay it's get, getting away one more thing let me add a you can say align self to this button if we can add it so let me add a align self center property to this button so it looks good well our motto is actually not to look good but actually something is working that is our motto okay but not looking good it is okay right now we are fixing these things little things it's okay okay now initially we are going to set it as hidden and whenever someone clicks on this button and if email address is invalid then we are going to set 
जे क्वेरी और जे क्यू सी एस एस सेट तो वी आर गोइंग टू सेट इट ई मेल एर आर लेट मी क्लोज दिस बिकॉज इट एक्सीडेंटली ओपन आई विल से डिस्प्ले आई विल से ब्लॉक ओके तो लेट मी रिलोड द पेज वेन एवर आई क्लिक ऑन द सेंड ओ टी पी बटन इट शुड डिप इट शुड कम हियर ओके इफ इट इज नॉट कमिंग देन आई थिंक देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम विथ माई सी एस एस सिलेक्टर आई विल रिलोड द पेज एंड आई विल क्लिक ऑन सेंड ओ टी पी ओके इट स्टिल नॉट वर्किंग तो वॉट्स द प्रॉब्लम ओके इट्स एक्चुअली क्लास ओके इट्स नॉट अ सिलेक्टर तो यू कैन सिलेक्ट अ क्लास विथ डॉट ऑपरेटर एंड फॉर आई डी इट्स हैश ओके let me okay no now you can see that please enter a valid email address is working okay it's really working great great one more thing let me remove the send otp center class because it's really ruining the thing and ruining the styles that i want i really don't want okay so let me reload the page let me go and you can see whenever i send otp and there is no email address valid then it's going to share it's going to show please enter valid email address okay so this is how it's going to look now now the main thing is how to send otp so let's get into it and let's write that logic how to send otp so let me go to send otp email let me go to first my channel uh are of silicon there is a my channel and inside this channel this is the channel and there is a video okay this is a video which you can see and if i go to show more this is a code for sending an otp okay this is a whole code so i will copy this this is a code for sending mail actually not otp but we are going to customize it so but we are going to customize it so we can also send mail using it okay so let me control v and it's pasted let me change uh, these things first let me just remove this error okay now one more thing if you have not installed a php mailer then you have to install php mailer so what i will say is go to new tab and write php mailer github okay and you will see on the github you will find a repository called php mailer you have to go to stable branch because we have to install from that okay then i will copy this thing and i will go to my terminal i will ls and it's working let me see composer and it's working okay if composer is working then i can simply say composer require and paste it command okay but right now i am going to do it in terminal because uh, many people are using windows so this step is going to be same you have a terminal inside visual studio code inside a mac or if you are using uh, windows then there is also terminal inside visual studio okay so let me write composer require and insert this thing okay so it will download it there are some problem could not parse you can also use composer if you don't have composer then you should have a git okay so how you will check the git if you just write git or if you just write git version then you can see the version of my git okay so you you really need a git for this or whether if you don't have the git then you can directly download the code but right now i have it so i will copy this i will paste it and you can see okay actually let me write the command git clone actually then i have to go to https i will copy this i will paste this and i will enter it you can see it's starting working on it okay wow really fast actually okay it's done i will clear the console and let me see where the php mailer is configured so okay php mailer is configured in right file in this php mailer file now you can see this send otp mail file is inside this php underscore server okay so inside inside that file we are requiring this thing so to require this thing you have to write two dash 
because that's how you get out of the current directory okay if you just mention one day uh, one dot then it's going to look for this file in the current directory if you hit two dots means if you write two dots it's going to out of your current directory and look for the file okay so this is a more accurate solution now what we really need right now is that a sender email address and google app password so i'm going to write right now my own uh, email address that is array of silicon.com uh, at the gmail.com sorry now i will go to okay so i don't have it right now now i will use so i will write my own email address right now gmail.com and then i will go to uh, manage your google account and i will go to security i will go to app password my current password now you will see something like this so what you have to do is you have to select app so select app as mail and select device as other and right here youtube tutorial okay and then just generate and these are the old tokens okay let me copy this first because if you do not copy and you click on the done it's gone bro really it's gone forever okay just click done and delete this whole thing and also copy the first code okay delete this thing because this is the old code so make sure it is secure everything is secure so let me copy this thing and let me paste it here okay and let me also remove this thing now whatever we have to do is set from so what is the sender's mail id so it's dharmic e86 at the rate gmail.com okay what is sender's name it's actually array of silicon array of silicon what is sender's email address so this is a add reply to you can see here so whenever someone replies to your email it's going to be uh replied to this email id okay so very important dharmic gohil and what is receiver's mail id so this is a mail id that we want from here okay so we have to pass it from here so right now i am not really going to write anything just write here receiver's name valued customer okay something like that and inside the subject you can say whatever your company's name is you can say anything okay let me say that this is one time password for registration at at array of silicon okay and you can also copy this thing same thing and uh, paste it here okay this is also useful if you want to uh, if you are using an email template there are a lot of email templates let me go to one of it and show it to you okay let me close all this thing because so that they do not take my memory let me go to the email template email template i can say html email template uh code pen okay so if i go here and you will see a lot of email templates here you can use them if you want to use them you have seen this kind of email address okay email templates inside your email okay so let me just remove it okay right now it's basically that's that's the thing okay now i have to generate a otp so for that we are going to generate a random number random php number so let me write here and this is the good documentation so you can see there is a function we are going to paste it here and oh sorry let me just paste it here let me say otp equals to this okay so i am going to terminate this thing okay so we have to send an upper limit and a lower limit means when should the number selection start and when should it end so i will tap 6 times 1 and 6 times 9 okay so let me count otherwise there should be some exception 
and we will attach this OTP inside the body. Okay, because we don't want to attach the OTP with uh, subject because that does not look good. Your OTP is you can always refer like this. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let me do this. Okay. Now your OTP is this, and we can say we can write any message. But we are going to say do not share with anyone or don't share it with anyone. Okay, so something like this. Okay. Now what we really need is a way to send email address from this index.php to this send OTP mail. Okay.